children now we are going to do chemistry lab experiment this experiment belongs to 6th standard and the lesson name is separation of mixtures the aim of this experiment is to separate a mixture of sand and water by decantation method and sedimentation the materials that are required sand water beakers and glass rod the theory of this experiment is many substances around us contain only one type of constituent particles these are called pure substances substances containing more than one type of constituent particles are called impure substances Impure substances can be separated by the different methods like hand picking, winnowing, sieving, magnetic separation, sedimentation, decantation, loading, filtration, evaporation, sublimation, distillation and churning. So now we will study about decantation. it is the transfer of clean liquid from one vessel to other vessel without disturbing the settled particles and now we'll study about sedimentation it is process of settling of heavy solid particles in a mixture at the bottom of the vessel now it is time to see procedure put some sand and water in a beaker stir the mixture with glass rod allow the mixture undisturbed for some time to settle heavier sand particles settle at the bottom the clear water above is poured into the another beaker sand is left at the bottom so what did you observe my dear children the observation is clear liquid which is transferred to another beaker is pure sand particles which are heavy settle at the bottom forming sediments based on this experiment i'll ask few questions the first question is what is decantation anyone would like to answer for this question The answer is when the water is removed from the mixture then the process is called decantation. And the second question is what are immiscible liquids? Anyone else? When two liquids not mix and form two separate layers they are called immiscible liquids. The third question is what is sedimentation? The answer is It is the process of settling down of heavy solid particles in a mixture at the bottom of the vessel. 